All right, everybody, we're back with another episode here. We, quick recap, what we have done so far is trying to just start doing some research um, and got the basics here to have us do that. Now, I kind of want to streamline this a little bit. Like right now I have things all over the place. I kind of want to get everything kind of organized nicely. So once everything is done smelting here, um, we're going to reorganize everything. Now, there's no science in here that hasn't already been used, so we can go ahead and remove all these little items here, and we will we will rehash where they go, what they're going to do. We have some engines in there, which is nice. We have coal being produced. Um, no, sorry, <laughs> copper being produced and here's our coal being done so we're gonna go quick and do a quick and dirty re uh, realignment of everything here because it's just messy just a little messy I wish I can clear the grass here because that's really annoying alright so we're gonna need lots of coal so we're gonna do a little triangle here of all of them just like that and that'll get that going so we'll have six of those and then we'll have two coppers just like that yep just like this and we'll have them dropping right into uh, these now that's how you do it Instead of right clicking, it's left clicking. Alright, so now all of them should be full, or at least filled with half. Yeah. Cool. And then these all need to have some place to drop their plates at some point, but for right now we're okay. Um, and then these are all producing plates right now, so let's go ahead and do another set of coal burners will do you and you're just about done so two more furnaces will drop you and you and then we'll do the same thing evenly distributed yep sweet All right it looks like it did I don't know no it's still doing half the amount So it seems like I can't explain it I have to figure out the skill the points to do that okay so this is now all done so let's go ahead and remove all these plates and we are gonna do the same thing here but we'll do it for four of them because we need a decent amount of these yeah it seems to have done even amounts on all of them Except for the first one. Yeah, it's only doing half a stack. Whatever. It is evenly distributing. It's just doing half stacks. Whatever. Alright, so everything's being produced there. We have plenty of that being done. Now, this is the direction we're going to build off of is going in this direction. So we're going to have our main bus, as we like to call it, kind of protruding out in this direction. And we're going to build out that way. So... Let's get um, some basic research station set up again. Uh, actually, no, it won't be here. We're going to do our basic research station a little bit differently. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe we'll just leave them right where they were or someplace close to it. Let's put it over here. This is definitely not going to be the permanent location for this. Alright, that should be clear enough. Just like that. Science requires gears and... Plates, right? Gears and copper plates, okay. So yeah, we don't need that. We just need copper plates being dropped into here. 
And what goes in here is plate plates. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. So let's go ahead and let's also start making stacks of this here so we know we can reach these things. Just like that. Line them up nicely. Okay. Let's drop our dog back down. Alright, so. Put you back in there. And let us drop 100 plates in there. Yep. And you require 100 of these plates. And you both need fuel. Okay, everything but he's stacked up nicely with fuel and producing. And you have coal in you too. So which means you are able to drop that in there. So let's go pick a new research. All right, let's drop, I don't know what tech steel plates are yet. A grappling gun, fire grapple, finds a super location, new target position, fully pulled out location, can be used to jump over buildings across water. Okay, cool. Sand processing, sure, that'll take all of 10 seconds to make, so let's just go ahead and do that. Let's get more coal, let's get more of these, let's get more of that. If we keep doing that, we're going to be able to keep this going for a long time, so that's, that's good to know. Stay stocked well on all of those. Um, and what else can we now work on? So we have fuel processing. So fuel processing requires... Uh, a single layer single single cylinder engine some stone bricks and iron plates and then wondering what goes in there let's plop it down let's make one oops mm, it's not what I wanted to do you want to go there um, and let's make we just draw made one of these fuel processing plants so let's take a look what you need you need any of these fuels and you need to make fuel so what makes fuel an efficient fuel design to power vehicles but it can be used for other things does that mean you can turn anything into it yeah so it looks like so you burn through wood very quickly to make a fuel that makes 10 megajoules Whereas coal makes four megajoules, I see. So we can start converting our coal into much more efficient. Oh wow, okay. That goes through very quickly. All right, that's cool. So now we're making this fuel and this fuel burns quicker and it can make vehicles go faster. Now the question is, can we use this fuel in burners is the question. Let's see. We'll let this coal burn out, making the copper. And then we'll see if this thing burns inside our burner drill. And let's go ahead and start another research here. So let's go ahead and do military. That should be easy enough. Alright, let's go ahead and drop one of you guys right in there. Yep, you do. And you look like you last longer. So that's cool. That's very cool. So that's something I'm excited to expand upon going forward. Because um, we're going to be able to make tons of that stuff. So with that being said, let's just drop this for a second. Can you do anything with that fuel? Sand, okay, we need to make that with stones. Steel chest, we don't need. You don't use fuel for anything, so. Okay, so that's, that's all right, so that's good. So that means what we can do is have you drop into a chest 
Yep, just like that. And we can just start converting all of this coal into a more efficient fuel. Now, I am not going to look up everything in this game. I'm going to try to explore it all myself, so I don't even know that this is the best thing to do with it. But I am going to assume that using this fuel is preferable to... using coal so we are going to continue to load in coal here on a regular basis for that and you seem to produce relatively quickly a little bit faster than what one of these things can keep up with so we'll go ahead and drop another one even you're running off the field that's great cool so we'll do that. We'll let everybody burn out of the coal that they're using. And see how that goes. Yeah, that's working. Um, what I really want to do then is that I really might want to start having this be automated. Um, rather than just having to collect this every single time, it might make more sense to have it collected differently. So, alright, well, let's go ahead and move on to electricity because that I think is going to be really important. Um, just because if we can start converting this fuel then into electricity, maybe it'll be a better form of our. Uh, use here so all right so let's let's talk about that how are we going to do this now i am in the way i understand that okay just like that we'll go ahead and bring you down and around just like this and get another burner drill made up here or two so that tells me when need two go ahead and fill you with this um, don't know that you'll grab coal or what but one way or another we need you guys running off of something. Uh, I'd rather it be coal, but, you know, I mean, I'd rather you guys be self-feeding, but you're not, so... definitely need to be making more it is burning way too quickly so I don't know this is gonna work barely keeping up now, but at least we're keeping up. Now are you keeping up still? No, you're slightly dropping off. Alright, that means we need another burner drill. I don't think it's the grabbers, I think it's the burner drills not keeping up. Alright, I 
think we're keeping up better, but not perfectly. So we'll do another burner drill. Down here. We are trying to figure this out as much as possible. I don't think it's going to work in our favor at all. We can barely keep up. That burns so fast, the coal, turning it into megajoule, 10 megajoule things. So we are netting. Are we netting? That's what I'm hoping for. If we're spending four megajoules, we're making 10. So we're like essentially adding six more megajoules to this situation. This is insanely like eating up coal. There's got to be a better way. This is crazy to me. I've never seen it like this before, and I have no idea how it works. There we go. Now we're keeping up. Now we're doing it. Wow. Alright, so this thing needs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Yeah, it needs 10 burner miners to keep up with the fuel that's needed for this. Wow. Alright, so with that being said, then we need... This is really, really temporary. I really don't think this is what I'm going to go forward with in the future. But I want to keep these guys fueled. So, I think that means we're going to have to, like, run a... How did coal get on there? I don't know, dropping coal there. Um, so run another one of these. To empty onto here. And then we're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 just so that we can keep up with the need for fuel cells. That's the only thing I could think of. You on the other hand are not gonna you're not gonna make it. Mm. Yeah, you're not going to make it, so we're going to have to move you. Well, you know what? We'll just leave you right where you were. And we'll fill you up on our own. Actually, we may not even need you. Because it looks like we're, we're netting coal. netting fuel which is great so and we're already pulling out half of the coal pretty much already all right so this is the one we're going to use to keep on refueling these situations here Any more plates We are doing just fine. All right, so that's pretty much the basics of keeping this process going. We're netting this stuff. We're going to want to start bringing over the copper plates to here at some point, and we're going to want to be bringing over these iron plates over to here so we can keep the science going. So that is that is the, the main ordeal that we're working with here. Yeah. Are you, like, not making coal anymore? I'm confused. Stones? Oh, 
I see. We need... It doesn't produce very quickly, so we actually don't need... We actually need more like that, yeah. I'm like, why is it not going as efficiently as we'd hoped? And it's mostly because it needs... I think it needs two of them to make... Yeah, so that's better. So we're doing all right. That is about what we're looking for. This is going to start stacking pretty soon. And then we'll be building a net altogether between everything because everything is already full. And only taking as they need. Yeah, we'll be all right. All right, so that, with that being said now, we are pretty much done with that. We just now need to bring... Yeah, this is going to get old. We need electricity because how are we going to constantly be feeding coal into both of these at the same exact time mm -hmm. and also then being able to then put to move the copper plates to here. It's going to it's going to get old very quickly. So we're going to have to figure that part out separately. So let me take a break here for a second and see what it is that we're going to move on to next. All right. So what we've gone and finished researching uh, electricity. So we're going to see what that opened up for us here. Um, there's been changes to now a electric inserters, small iron electrical poles, small wooden poles. Um, it's also added burner turbine generators. So these require small electric generators, iron gears, and stone furnace to make. And then when we do this, um, standalone power generator is simple but efficient. I'm assuming it consumes one of our fuels. Yeah, and it makes um, 2.35. It, it takes up 2.35 megajoules and outputs 85% to 2 megawatts. What is it megajoules for? Megawatts. Um, so, I don't know how watts and megajoules necessarily convert, but with that being said, we can now start taking this fuel that we're getting an excess of, um, and we can start converting it into uh, into some electricity here, so I don't know that we need water, so let's build two of these. Um, I don't know what it takes to build the electric, uh, what does it take to build the electric, uh, thing? Iron, copper, iron, okay, so we can craft those inventory together, so that's not a problem. Alright, so, let's go ahead, and once that's done being crafted, we'll go ahead and drop one of them in here, um, and then we'll just, let's explore for a moment. If we could put in a fuel, it's creating power. And then it needs to be hooked up to some sort of power pole situation. So we'll do this one and this one just to compare the two. You have a small, and you have a wider, maybe you have longer reaches. That's my guess. So let's go ahead and just imagine. Okay. So that's simple. Now we're hooked up, we're creating power, but we have no use for the power. So the question is, is what will you power? Um, we really don't have anything that you could power yet because we haven't let it, figured out how to do electric mining. So that's likely what we're gonna end up doing. So that means that We'll have electric miners producing coal that then get turned into a fuel that then get turned into electricity and then electricity is then used to power our miners and so on and so forth until we start netting uh, power and things start shutting down and we no longer need it. So that is what we're going to do. So with that being said here, let's go ahead and make, we have to make a bunch of these, but we only have so much wood. It doesn't really say if the base mod... They have the same exact everything. The one's just made differently. Alright, so... We'll just make these because we have enough of them. Let's just make a bunch. Do ourselves ten. And then 
yeah, we'll probably place you. Um, it, we're going to reorganize all of this, obviously. this I don't like this the way that it is, but we are going to reorganize it. Um, I might put my power generation up here near the water, um, and that means reversing this entire setup. So let's go ahead. I don't know how many of these we're going to need, so we're going to build it as if we need to expand. We're going to build a bunch of these electric inserters because we're going to need them. Go ahead and put an electric inserter. And you are going to be taking a fuel line that we will place here. Just like that. Yeah, that's not quite right. I'm going to want an assembly machine to make more of these guys. So we actually need you to make something else. We need to make engines with you. Yeah, that's what we're going to need. So that means having a few more of you to pull out from you because you're producing probably too much. You guys are still using coal. What's the problem? No mineable sources? Okay. So we don't need you there anymore. As long as you're keeping up, guys. cap you off at a few hundred here because we don't need you to keep on making it um, and then over here we need to place a thing to make engines which means then you need plates and then you need fuel burn a drill to unload into a box okay and then we'll use that as a buffer so there's always some burner drills that we can get back uh, things we can get access to where are you getting your fuel source from wherever um, we need to build another one of these burner assembly machines and in here, you are going to put together, what do we say, these. And you require plates and fuel as well. And then you are going to have a burner drill temporarily. You are going to get a box, and you're going to keep a few hundred of those in stock as well. And the whole plate situation, we'll have to keep feeding. Alright, so we're netting, we're working on that, we're going to be making power, we're waiting for the electric drills to be finished, we have plenty of science being made up good we'll eventually get there and then in the electric mining setup here we will substitute all of these for electric miners we'll use this power from this machine that is being fueled by coal in order to do that and then maybe I don't did it say how this machine what it uses where are you How do I figure it out? Okay. We can use wood, solid fuel, nuclear fuel, crushed vulcanite, 
Veget vitamin lingonites, but uh, the lange, whatever. We could use regular coal, solid rock and field, vulcanite, enriched vulcanite, bloom. Okay, so we could use lots of different things. Now, we're not in the process of making solid fuel, so right now the best thing we're on the stage of using is coal. We'll probably move up to solid fuel at some point. Um, that's a process of uh, some chemical plants later on, I'm sure. Um, and there's no way to automate wood, so we don't need to do wood. So we're really just doing coal right now. We can't put fuel back into this thing. Like, you can't put the fuel liquid fuel into it. So that's good to know. Um, yeah, we're, we're doing all right. All right, so let's go get ahead another stack full of that. Um, and we'll go start building this up. And we'll do a splitter here. So we can now build one of those because we have logistics. Um, we're going to move you to the other side. So you're going to go here, and you're going to go here. And you're going to get a splitter. Or half of you is going to go forward, and half of you is going to go left. Just like that. Really can't wait till we're automating. You really should have more red science being done in another machine to make this the stuff go a little bit faster. But we're not trying to be efficient here. We're just trying to show you guys the progression of things. And plus, it gives me a time to learn everything because there's so much to learn, um, and I couldn't possibly know everything. So there's just no way. So. I think we'll probably stop here for this episode. We will check in with you guys when we have finished reaching the electric mining and a couple of other stages. We'll probably do electric mining. We'll probably do automation. We'll maybe even start doing basic fuel handling in case we get to some liquid fuels. Don't think we need gun turns because, again, I turned this on the peaceful mode right now. And strong barks, I don't think we're going to need. So we're going to do some science here. We'll check in with you guys once the electric mining is done, once automation is done, and I think when basic fuel handling has at least been started. Because um, we're going to want to start um, getting this electricity stuff, because then once we're at that stage, I can show you guys how that's going to work out and how we're going to rearrange things, because this is not going to stay like this forever. That's for sure. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Be sure to, thank, uh, to like and subscribe, and I thank you all for watching. It's Chuck Thunder signing out.